welcome to 50 Movies in 50 Weeks. I'm your host, Joey Hollywood, and I'm trying to get through all 50 movies in this 50 movie box set from Mill Creek in 50 Weeks. The movie I watched today was called... Let me unlock my phone to tell you what the movie is called. The movie is called... <laughs> Doomed to Die from 1940, starring Boris Karloff. And... When I put this movie on, didn't know anything about it. I was just like, doomed to die, Boris Karloff, okay, let's go. Put it on, right? And I hear the music come on, and it goes, it, it's like, it's like very, like, Chinese, it's like, ding, 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 it's like that kind of thing. And I go, oh, no, is this a Detective Wong movie? Oh, man. I don't want to talk about another Detective Wong movie. There's so many, like, racial stereotypes in this box set, and I get a little uncomfortable talking about them because I don't feel, like, very well qualified to talk about that kind of stuff. I put it on, and I'm looking at the credits. I'm like, if it says based on Detective Wong, I gotta, I gotta like, brace myself. And I don't see Detective Wong in the, in the credits. And I'm like, okay, cool. Maybe there's just some Asian element to this. For 20 minutes, it sets up this plot of uh, a guy who owns a shipping company and uh, he had some sort of accident and it's going to put his company under. Someone kills him and they hide the gun and it, it's uh, the, the, the guy's son of a, of a rival company is trying to marry his daughter and he gets pinned for the murder and it's starting to feel very, very... PBS, uh, masterpiece theater mystery type story. It feels like, like a uh, Poyo or whatever, whatever, like Sherlock Holmes. It feels very like it's setting up this mystery. And I'm like, oh dang it. it! It's gonna be a Detective Wong movie, isn't it? Twenty minutes into the movie, Detective Wong shows up. Twenty minutes. No one mentions his name. It's just this little family drama between these characters, and. He, there he is, Boris Karloff in, in yellow face and I, I remember in the last time I talked about a Detective Wong movie, I said that he didn't, he, his, his yellow face wasn't as like offensive, like like you kind of like squint and you're like ah, I guess I, I, guess I can kind of see the yellow face, no he's in full yellow face in this movie and, and he's like giving like a very like I don't, I was going to say minstrel show, I don't think I don't think, uh, I don't think yellow face counts as like a minstrel show. I think that's just a blackface thing, but it's very, very pantomime, but it is a very like offensive caricature performance. And I would say this one has a more offensive depiction of it than the previous one I watched. However, this I think was a better movie than the last one I watched. Uh, the mystery was just a little bit more interesting. I got a little bit more uh, tied up in the characters in this one. You still got that spunky uh, female journalist from the last one. I'm not sure if it's played by the same actors. I don't know if any of these people are played by the same actors, uh, aside from Boris Karloff. But just like the last one, Detective Wong, you could easily cut him out of the story. He is such a redundant character. There's another detective, and yeah, he serves more as a foil to Detective Wong. He does most of the legwork. Detective Wong just kind of floats through this movie. It's almost a, I, I, I've never read these books, but if this was the only adaptations of these stories, I'd be pretty disappointed. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe Detective Wong is just as useless in the books as he is in these movies. But yeah, it, I, I liked this one more than the last one. And I don't know what that says about me because the performance in it was a lot more stereotypically racist. But uh, yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> I kind of hope we have no more Detective Wong movies on this box set. Uh, the, none of them are called Detective Wong, so I don't know how to pick them out. But, um, yeah. <laughs> I, I, think, uh, I think that's all I have to say on the movie. It was, a, it was a more fun mystery than the last Detective Wong movie, and I'll leave it at that. I'll see you next week. Remember, please be kind and rewind.